Hello guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing Palaika 61. It's one of those famous instances. Palaika has three parts and this is the second part. I'm going to be doing it on a high five server. Um, this is the RPG Club times 15 server. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just playing there. I found some nice people and we're just having some fun. And I'm going to be to show you now how to do this instance. It's not a very easy instance. Well, it depends. It depends. You need to know three things before you enter Palaika 61. The first one is that you need beast shots. Yes. Did you know that you can use the beast shots with your summon? Uh, I discovered that uh, quite recently and it's actually really, really helpful. Especially if you're going to be doing this on a support class. For example, now I'm going to be doing this with my Elven Elder. And let's see if I'm going to be successful. It's not that easy. The second thing that you need to know is that the buffs don't get cancelled when you enter the instance. This means that you can get NPC buffs and I'm also supplementing them with some of my own buffs and some buffs from my overlord which is waiting outside the NPC. I also have my main, my bishop for one salvation because you never know. <laughs> and there is also a third thing you need to know. The final boss, the final boss teleports in the middle of the ship when it's at half hit points. So what do you do? Well, there are various websites that say you can anchor him or root him. Uh, just try to keep him outside of his ship because uh, when he teleports on the ship, his followers start healing him. Um, the first time I did this on my Blade Dancer, it was a piece of cake. It was so easy because when he teleported, actually for some reason my Blade Dancer was dealing huge damage, even more than my Grand Avatar. I don't understand this. Um, or probably I just don't know how to play the Grand Avatar yet. Um, so yeah, when he teleported in the middle of the ship, first of all, the followers did not start healing him. He was staying stable at uh, 50%. And then as I approached very slowly, um, they didn't aggro, neither the followers nor uh, the boss aggroed on me. I don't know what happened, I don't know why, so it was so easy, I just killed all the followers, nobody aggroed on me, nobody healed the boss, and then, without any problems, I finished off the raid boss. Well, not the raid boss, the instance boss, whatever that is. So I was very lucky with my blade dancer. When I tried to do this on the Grand Cavatari, I thought it would be very easy, but it was actually much tougher. I don't know why. Maybe because I was trying to do it without buffs in the end. Maybe because um, as soon as I went to kill the followers, everything aggroed on me. It was very hard. And in the end, I just uh, went out of the ship stayed for a while there, regenerated, and then went back, killed the followers, and managed eventually to kill the boss. So, um, the last time, when I went out of the ship and back in, uh, then the followers also did not aggro on me. So we're gonna test this now with Elven Elder. I expect this is going to be much harder. But I'm going to test and see if uh, I'm going to manage, first of all, to keep him rooted down so that he doesn't teleport. And then I'm going to, if he does teleport, I'm going to try to see how this bug works. If I can achieve 
that he doesn't um, aggro on me and the followers too. So, I'm here, I'm gonna get NPC buffs first. Now I'm gonna run to the entrance of the instance. My uh, skill bars have been especially designed for this instance. <laughs> Actually, I'm hoping that there are lots of undead so that I can use uh, Might of Heaven and not be Inquisitor. But let's see. So now I'm going to do my buffs. These are buffs that I've um, chosen especially for Palaika. Concentration number 5, Clarity mental shield because there are some random paralysis going on in there not sure that this is gonna help but just gonna try holy weapon because it looks like everything in there might be undead or doing dark damage regeneration agility never hurts resist shock never hurts resist dark that m this may be important and resist poison i don't know if this is gonna work because um the Palaika poison is a bit uh, special, let's say. So I'm gonna give now salvation from my bishop or cardinal. If I find the skill, which I don't have on my skill bars. Okay. So there you go. Salvation. Okay, well, let's just give her the rest of the stuff. Here's some prayer. And here, body of avatar. And now I am going to give overlord buffs. Here. Mage buffs. Taking the quest. And going inside. Let's find the dwarf. Oh, this is not a dwarf. It's a human. Okay, we got now the sword. I'm going to summon the summon. And this is gonna go here. And guess what? When you summon the summon, then you can change your weapon and use both the summon and your weapon. So now the attack is going here. Stop action, unsummon. And powerful striker. This is gonna go next to the attack. Okay, I think we're good now and activate the beast shots it's a bit of a maze here uh, let's see now okay this is undead clearly so the undeads i can hit with my might of heaven awesome that's fantastic I'm very happy about this. This means that I don't need to change to Inquisitor. Actually, Heaven's gonna go there. Awesome. Okay. And the good thing about not having to switch to Inquisitor is that I can heal at the same time. For example, I can send my Tigress to tank and so where is the boss 
There should be... Oh, there is a boss. Normally, it's, it's there, but now it's there. Is it undead? Oh yeah, it's undead. Fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna send the tigers first. And... Now I'm going to... Okay, no. I'm not gonna waste my mana on it. I'm going to heal the tigress. Oh wow. Maybe I do need to waste my mana on it. Okay. So you see, even the first boss is a challenge, not that easy. This is going to be difficult with the Elven Elder. Let's see what we got here. Great, antidote. Antidotes are very important. Let's continue. You know what? I'll just send the tigress. Even though it's very easy to kill them with my skill. It's almost one shot. Okay, what the hell. I'm pretty sure that's because I have this wonderful weapon which a friend lent to me. Do you think that they designed the instance specifically? with undead so that it's easy for bishops and elven elders no okay let's just go straight hopefully this is the right way it's a bit of a maze here um i'm looking for a dwarf It's funny there are no mobs here. No, that's not the way. When you see water, go back. I have a feeling I'm going in circles. <laughs> okay, this must be the place where the first boss is. So I just want to see if here is... Mm, no. What is here? That's not the right way. I just thought that there may be some trace of chests there. That's why I went there. But never mind. Just straight ahead. And here we went straight ahead. But I think there's a treasure chest over there. Let me check. Yes. Come on. Okay.
Could this be the way? Is there a dwarf? Yes, this is the way. So now you have to unsummon the tigress, otherwise the dwarf will not level up your weapon. Okay, great. Now again, just need to equip it, summon the tigress. You're getting a new skill, the ice ball, but unfortunately it doesn't work when you disarm your weapon. <coughs> Sorry. What about buffing the tigress? That should be cool. Yes, it works. Awesome. Just worrying because my mana is now at 50% and I don't see any mana herbs. Oh, here's one man herb. Great. Now we don't go into the water. Okay, so now we are in these rooms. These are the rooms with the powder kegs. We're just gonna try and get through. Just gonna try and aggro as few mobs as, as possible. <laughs> okay. Mana is full, so we just continue. So, oops, too many mobs, too many mobs, um, too many mobs. Don't panic. Just take the. No, damn it. Never mind. We had salvation. Wow, just so many mobs. Oh no, I have death penalty. Damn it. I think the boss is over there. Yes, it's over there. But let me clear up the space. Okay, so. No, not the powder keg. What if I do it actually? No? Okay.
So I recently moved my um, what do you call this? The bar. And I can't keep track of my hit points so easily now that it's down there. I'm not used to it. Would be a good idea to activate the shots every time you summon the tigress. Any chests over here? Yes. There's a chest over there. Oh, that's great because we don't have salvation anymore. We could use that. But like a healing potions. And now I'm almost sure we have to go this way. No. <laughs> okay, so that was what... We came out of here, so we need to go there. Let's try to aggro as few mobs as possible. Famous last words. There's a dwarf, but we don't have anything to enhance, so just continue. Four minutes and then I'm gonna go out and get m new buffs. But I'm going to try and clear as many as possible until the buffs run out. So that the space is clean next time I run through this. Okay, let's just not rush in like last time. Is there a chest over there? No, okay. Mm. So we did we do need to kill some stuff here. Oh, another boss. Think we can do it in two minutes? Sure, we can do it. Let's do it. Ok, 
let's just try this out. Oh, it works. Awesome. Alright, you know what? Now I'm going to come out. Out of the instance. And... Hmm... Do you think I should go buy a death penalty thing? Do I have one? No, I don't. I'm just gonna buy one really fast So I'm gonna get the NPC buffs, now I'm gonna go back. No salvation for me now, but what about an obelisk? Okay, so let her start buffing. And now... Obelisk. Invite her to party. Uh, body of Avatar. Prayer. Now she's gonna self buff. We shouldn't need to use the tigress now until I get to that dwarf because I've already killed um, the monsters unless I get lost. If I get lost then I will meet monsters and I know I have to go back. Shouldn't there be a door here? Yes. Okay, here just straight ahead. And now to the left. Yeah, I remember I didn't kill that one. Let's 
Let's see if he will upgrade the weapon. Damn it. Yes, he did. Now the challenge is to complete the instance before times run out because when you go out it does take some time and I also went to buy this scroll okay this is the first room with the kegs let's try to aggro as few monsters as possible So there is a second keg room after that. Someone's following us. <laughs> okay. Second keg room. Uh, this is where we killed the boss, so we need to go the other side. Here is another dwarf. I think this is where we killed another boss. So... Should we go straight after that? I don't see anything, it's so dark here. Okay. Um. Let's try to go straight. Okay, so far so good. It feels good. Another dwarf. Okay. Great, so we are inside here. We could go after the treasure chests um, that are in those rooms. But I don't want to waste time now. So I have the boss on target. There it is. Don't forget to activate the beast shoulders and go.
Oh, Divine Soul, that's good. Enhances Holy Power. Invocation for MP. So when invocation ends, I'm going to give a kiss of Eva on me and the summon. I should also actually buff the summon. We have 11 minutes to complete this. I'm just gonna give essential buffs. Like holy weapon, mental shield, resist poison shield, regeneration might get a kiss of Eva, agility when walk, resist dark, resist shock. Okay, let's go. Oh, maybe give myself kiss of Eva too. Where is the way? Where is the way? That is not the way. Oh, actually. Oh, why is it so hard to find it? Normally, it's so easy to find it. No idea. Did I just dive in another place than I usually dive? Looks like that. I've never seen this before. Wait, let me look around. No, I don't see anything. Wow, this is completely new to me, guys. Okay, so I want you to go up. Is this it? No, over there, man. Yes, this is it, but it's, I mean, the interface, look at it. It's just stuck there. Doesn't want to unstuck. Okay. 
Well, good thing we have case of Eva. I've been pressing the button for like 30 seconds That's the boss there, the final boss And now guys, Leroy Jenkins. You know Leroy Jenkins? Unsuitable terms, what the hell? Oh no, it's a dragon. So I can't attack it. With undead skills. Oh no. So I'm trying to root it. Just keep trying to root it. It's resisting and... F oh, now it worked. Let's reduce attack speed and speed. Keep rooting it, healing the someone. Because, okay. That's great, it's rooted there, it's not attacking be because it should have teleported. I think that's the reason why it doesn't attack. Because now the hit points are less than 50% And it's not attacking, great Oh, 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 trance worked Okay, so it still tried to run away But trance worked and root also worked Okay, this is gonna take a while, but the summon is not taking any damage. No, yes. Okay, if it manages to reach the end, it's going to teleport up and then things are gonna be very difficult.
Guys, this looks very good. It's gonna die. Yes. Yes. So it works. Root works. If you're an elven elder or a bishop, this is the way to do it. Fantastic. It's even easier than with the Grand Cavatari. Palaika 61 is easier on a bishop or elven elder than with the Grand Cavatari. Tyrant. And now you have to run because the dwarf spawns in the middle of the ship. There he is. We're going to get our reward. And summon it. Return the sword. XP from 61. Oh, 65. Full vitality. Incredible. And the Palaika bracelet. Fantastic. Thank you guys for watching this. See you soon.